Hi, today we will be showing you how to use Protectity's Cloud Protect. Search for Protectity at AWS Marketplace and select Cloud Protect for S3. Select the options and hit Create Contract and Pay Now. It should say $0 due today. It will take you to Create Account screen, provide your information and hit Register. Log in with the newly registered account. Select Start Setup on New Deployment page. Provide name for deployment and your AWS information and hit Continue. Select Create New Policy. Hit the button Show Me How and follow the instructions by going to Key Management Service for Key Creation. Once there, hit Create Key. Make sure Symmetric and Encrypted and Decrypt should be selected and hit Next. Provide an alias. Select the administrator for the key and make sure Allow Key Administrators to Delete key is selected. Next, copy the AWS account from the setup page under Show Me How and provide it under Other AWS Accounts and hit Next. Hit Finish and select the newly created key. Copy the ARN and provide it back to the setup page and hit Test and Continue. On this page, select Start Install. Provide a stack name and hit Create Stack. This step will take a couple of minutes to create the Lambda functions which will perform the Protect operations. After the stack is created, go back to the Setup page and hit Continue. Go back to the newly created stack and under Output, select the API Gateway ID and provide it back to the Setup page and hit Test and Activate. This should complete your Cloud Product install process. Enter Setup Platform and select S3 and hit Continue. Select Install and Create Stack. This setup will also take a couple of minutes to create all the required S3 buckets for the Cloud Product API. Once completed, hit Done on the Setup page and select the I icon on the left and go to the S3 Protector. Over here, you will see all the information about architecture, configuration, sample formats, and sample datasets. Let's hover back to S3 and check out the newly created S3 buckets. Go to the input S3 bucket and create a new folder called CSV. Upload the mapping file and a corresponding sample data file. Once uploaded, go back to your input bucket and refresh a couple of times. Once the file is processed, it will be removed from the input bucket. Next, go to the output bucket and look for your file. Select the file and query it from under Object Actions. Hit Run SQL Query and you will have the protected dataset displayed from the file. Thanks a lot for watching.